Hey guys, what's up? It's Chachi and wait, are we starting? Did it go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Chachi. We have an announcement. Um, we kind of maybe definitely did a thing. A very furry with paws and lots of hair. It's everywhere. Yuka and I adopted an 11 year old retired sled dog. He's a husky, his name is Mars, and he's super awesome. And side note, I just wanna say, making Yuka a dog person is some of my best work. When we first started dating, he was not a dog person. He was like, nope, they limit your life, blah, blah, blah. In one ear, out the other. It was almost a deal breaker. But I convinced him to let us get Rex, then we ended up getting banded, and here we are again with Mars. So we got Mars from a husky farm in Lapland. Yuka was filming a show there and got to visit the farm and completely fell in love with Mars. And a few weeks later, someone is on a train from Lapland bringing Mars here. I hadn't seen Mars in public yet, so when I saw him come out the train, I was just saying over and over again, wow, he's such a pretty boy. Mars is a pretty intense looking dog at first sight, but once you get to know him, he's actually very very sweet and friendly so I was maybe a little bit scared when I first saw him but Mama. that chain but that <laughs> I was maybe a little bit scared when I first saw him but that quickly changed but I gotta say he has the best begging at teachers uh, Mars didn't really want anything to do with us when we were eating but he has pretty uh, prime examples of beggars so he jumps out of his comfortable positions anytime we start walking towards the kitchen so we've created a monster already no they created a monster it wasn't my fault okay watch this there's the first dog First one. I know. Sophie. Second. <laughs> and third. Sophie. <laughs> this is not for babies. You do like a pecan. Ooh. I haven't taught her to catch it in her mouth yet. <laughs> So when I first got Mars, he smelled of kennel really strong. So I first wanted to bring his scent into the home. So I came in the house first and left Mars outside with the driver and let the boys sniff me so that they can get a, a sense of his scent. And then I brought in Mars so it wasn't so overwhelming for them. And they just really just like sniffed each other around at first and Mars was kind of getting a lay of the land. Bandit is not as territorial as Rex. Rex is our OG baby. so he he puts on a little bit more of a front, but I was really surprised with how well it went. Everybody was pretty friendly right away. Boys, this is your new friend. Hey, boys, give him some space. Boys, come here. Come here, boys. It's okay, give him some space. Rexy, give him some space. Yes, Rexy, this is your, this is your new sibling. It's been a, like a cool process to see because when we got Rex and Bandit, they were just like eight weeks, 13 weeks old and they, you know, they don't have any trust boundaries. Like they just kind of love you puppy love right away. But I've never gotten a senior dog who already is used to certain things and certain people. So it's been really cool to see how he's building his trust with us little by little and inching closer to our room every night. Like he's soon gonna sleep there. And I don't know, and now he's like giving his belly to scratch and it's really cool to see that he's really making himself at home. He runs so different. He like keeps this good pace, runs straight. These two troublemakers just like <laughs> bullying each other. He always runs so proper and when I take him out, he, he wants to pull, he wants to run here and Rex doesn't want to run. So I'm like between two things, opposite forces pull in different directions. But he did run 25,000 kilometers. Broke all the records in Heta Huskies. I think he deserves a good forever home on our couch. He's so good and he's still really playful and really active. And when we adopted him, we knew he was one of their best lead dogs because he's so he's got so much patience and he was able to run with difficult dogs. And also he's so sweet so that they used him in all the events and, and conventions. 
Every day, the boys get more used to each other. Bandit has definitely warmed up to Mars a lot faster than Rex, but there's no tension. Mars isn't a dominant dog. He's very respectful of Rex and Bandit's space. So everybody is one big kumbaya happy family right now. You guys be nice to each other. Your family now. But how did you like when we first got the message that, hey, remember, Mars, he doesn't know what a street is. He doesn't know anything about city life. Yeah, they're like, Mars has never seen a car. He doesn't know what a street is. He doesn't know. And we're like, oh boy. They didn't breed him for herding, they bred him for running. Yeah. Like, ah! But he's been really good. So Mars is still figuring city life out. He's understanding streets more and more now and cars and just things that he's not used to. He's lived outside in a husky farm his whole life, so I can't even imagine how overwhelming city life can be, but I think he's adjusting pretty well. Oi. We've had Mars for like a little over a week now and he's finally sleeping in our room. I got him to you guys away filming right now again. So I think he kind of senses that the man is gone. So he's sleeping in our room to protect me. I don't know. I like to think of it that way, but he's um, become really attached and every day getting more and more comfortable in this surrounding and snoozing and just living his best grandpa life, family life. We absolutely love him. The kids are so gentle and kind to him and he's used to meeting a lot of people so he didn't really have trouble with adjusting to the kids. Maybe Sophie a little bit when she tries to run him over with her toy cars. <laughs> but other than that, I think it's going really well. Some lots of hair. I'm vacuuming much more than I ever thought. Hey, sit the butt. Thank you. I'm vacuuming like twice a day but I can't complain when we have such friendly, happy dogs with a happy life. Comes the monster. <laughs> I am currently tomorrow. I don't know when this will go up, but probably, definitely, when I'm 32 weeks pregnant. So I'm pretty pregnant and probably gonna pop soon-ish. Ish. I still got some time to go, but <laughs> I feel like she might come early. I'm doing well. I'm healthy. I'm just really tired and um, juggling all of our children and animals. That's it. I think everybody is happy and healthy, so there's no complaints. I hope you guys are doing well. That's all for now. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> so bad. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Why does bandit's breath smell like butt? <laughs>